dreams are safe, Carolyn. She'll see them through. Karen? Yes? My niece, the doctor. I said let us in. I said you're too late. I know. You're a doctor. I drive just like you. I'm not getting anything. Let's get her to GH. Too late. You're too late. OK, ready? One, two. You want to follow us back to the hospital? No. No, I know the way. Anybody could have done. How do you know? Did you drive? I, Did I was gone? with her at the end. Believe me, believe me. She was gone before they got here. No! 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 This isn't the truth. This can't be happening. I was supposed to meet her at Kelly, and if I'd only have shown up, we'd still be there. We'd still be laughing. I could have saved her. Listen, Cookie, Cookie, some things just happened. You couldn't have stopped this from happening. Do you hear me? No one could. No one. Why, Carolyn? Things just happen sometimes, and, and we can't change them, sweetheart, no matter how much we want to. I know how you're feeling. No. No, you don't know how I'm feeling. My sister's dead. Because of me. That is not true. But if I would only Listen to me. There. Listen to me. You have got to believe that there is a plan and a purpose to it all. It makes all the difference. Do you believe there's a plan for why things happen the way they do? The same way I know your sister wouldn't want you blaming yourself. Especially when there is nothing to blame yourself for. She had peace in her heart, Cookie. Trust me, she would want you to go on living the way she did, the way she tried to teach you. Loving, laughing, dancing, helping where she could. How do you know what she wanted? I told you, I saw it. In her eyes. I see a lot of her in you, too. I just loved her so much. She knows that. But she's gone. And I'm all alone. And I'll always be alone. No, you won't. Cookie? Daddy. What's going on? They said get to first in Washington. Um, it's Carolyn. Carolyn what? What? What happened? She's gone, Daddy. Like Mama. I took her to the hospital. It was a car. It, uh, it came out of nowhere. The uh. police will have all the information. I'm sorry, Daddy. She's dead. No! Carol. No! Now, how the hell did this happen? Now, what happened? Daddy, I don't know. I didn't see it. I wasn't here. Now, you two were supposed to be together. You said you were going to meet at Kelly's. I got held up. So she was alone? Yes. But I didn't know, Daddy, please. Okay. Not you. Not you. I'm so sorry, Daddy. Uh, we have to go. But, Daddy. Now, okay? Where? We got to go to the hospital and see my baby and say goodbye.
Karen, they've got to bring you back now more than ever. They've got to bring you back. Victor told me that Mary's come by here on some pretext or another every day since Frank left. I think she's hoping for some news on him from Joe. So she actually really bought into his vacation story, huh? Which is why we have to be careful. I don't want to upset her. Right. Okay, I can be subtle. I can. Subtle is my middle name today. Yeah, subtle. Just remember, the reason we're here is to follow up on what we found in Carolyn Wexler's file. Right. And moving closer to proving that Frank talked to Rhonda in 1973 and somehow changed the future. I'm still for sticking with logic. Okay, Mr. Logic. Let me hear your logical explanation of this. Okay, there's a chance that because Carolyn died when Frank was very young, maybe he was out with Mary. Maybe he saw the accident happen. Now, for someone that age, to see something like that, that can really affect someone. So what you're saying is maybe Carolyn's face, her image got stuck in Frank's brain. It's possible. No, Doc, I really think that's a long shot. And communicating with the past isn't? No, there is never a wrong intuitive long shot. Oh, I get it. Only on the logical ones. Yes, that's right, right. Now who's being unreasonable? You are. Listen, I am very capable of reasoning and unreasoning anything. You're not. Well, can we be practical for just two little minutes? No, because you're not talking about practicality. You're talking about skepticism. That's what you're being, Lucy. skeptical. No, listen, Doc, this isn't just some case study of Frank. I keep telling you that. That poor man is off there in the twilight zone looking for his girl, his girl, the woman he loves. He has all that faith. Shouldn't that count for something? So I think what's really important here is to start listening to what Frank said, trust what Frank said, and maybe we're going to finally get somewhere. Oh, hi. Hi. Mary, hi. What's going on? I, I heard you say Frank's name. Is he okay? You, you said you were listening to Frank. Oh, she, oh, she meant listening to Frank's uh, uh, story. It, it just so happens I'm involved in a study right now on the imagination and how that and other call them occurrences, can seem real. Well, but if you're talking about Frank imagining that woman, he explained that. Uh, yes, he did. A momentary occurrence caused by overexhaustion. But you still don't believe that's possible. Well, it's just that I find the phenomenon very interesting. People can do, have images, though. They, do, they see things. Do you things mind really if happen. I ask you a couple of questions? No. <laughs> Although I don't see how I could possibly be of any help. Uh, well, it'd be like I research, was curious. Research. I was just curious. Did you, did you know the Wexler family when Frank was growing up? Well, they lived in the neighborhood, but Harry Wexler was not exactly social. Why was that? Well, he just a private person. He's an inventor, or was, and and he, you know, he kept to himself, and his inventions were not successful. So I think he was frustrated and. I guess he became a pretty heavy drinker. Did you know Rhonda back then? Oh, yes, yeah, she's so sweet. It's sad what's happened to her. Yeah. And I, I understand that she had a, a sister named Carolyn. That was such a tragedy. She was hit by a car. Mary, were you um, there? Did, did, you, did you see the accident? Was Frank there? Could he have seen it? Was he there? No, no, a neighbor told me about it. And Frank was way too young to understand. Why do you ask? Well, no. one theory is that a childhood trauma can kind of occur again in later life for no apparent reason. But if that happened, then his getting away is a good thing, right? Right. 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 I'm sure he'll feel a lot better when he gets back. <sighs> we all will. Well, anyway, it was great to see you, Mary. See it, it really was. Tell Victor I'll call him. Okay, okay. have oh, lunch. I will. Okay, I will. take okay. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Mr. Logical Explanation, that sort of shoots that one to heck, doesn't it? So now, we do it my way. <sighs> I'm afraid to ask. We are going to Rhonda's house, and we are going to see if that computer there can somehow connect us to 1973.